Hi, my name is Lavish Kumar. In this video, we will learn about how to manage back orders in Knob Commerce. For this tutorial, we are using version 4.0. So, what are back orders? Back order is, is basically a scenario in which a customer order cannot be fulfilled, for which the customer is prepared to wait for some time. In, in other words, back ordering means letting your customers shop for products even when you're lacking the product and supplies. So one benefit of back ordering is that it does not let your sales go down at all. With the help of back ordering, you can do business and when the stock fills up, you can simply start clearing the pending orders that you have received from customers. And it's, it's really useful in running an online store. So in this video, Let's look into how you can configure products in Knobcommerce for back orders so you can continue accepting orders from your customers. To set up a product for back order, simply go into the administration section in dashboard. And from the dashboard, we will look into the catalog and let's go to the product area. Okay. So let me give you a simple example of this product this is standard product right now if I search for this Apple iCam you can see the product page here I, I just want to show you that how our standard product page look like so this is in stock customers can order this product easily so there's no back order or anything like that and you can see here availability this is in stock so in in terms of back ordering, basically the even if the stock is not available, a customer will be able to place the order for the item. So let's look into how to configure this option. For this example, we will add a new product. So let's add a new product. Okay. And we will name it as let's say maybe um, test product as ABC smartphone okay and let's look into the full description And I just put the description here just for testing. So you can configure other options for your product. In this case, I'm going to put it as $10, $8. And yeah, so this is basically just setting up the price and everything. And in this case, when you're accepting back order, you will have to do track inventory. And you will see in the bottom, when I don't have this option, I only have like few options within the inventory section. But as soon as I select track inventory, I get a lot of different options to manage this product. So in this case, we will be looking into back order. So when I track inventory for this product, this back order option gets activated. So in this case, right now, this option is set to no back orders. That means customer cannot purchase this product when there is no stock available. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this product just to give an example. Let's save a picture as well. Okay. ABC smartphone, we can see here. Add to card, nothing is different here because we don't have back order activated right now. 
and we have stock quantity equal to 10,000 right now. What if I turn this into zero stock quantity? And along with that, we can okay so this is stock display availability play stock stock quantity okay we'll save it and now when i go to the product product page on the public store if i refresh it you can see availability out of stock right so it says out of stock i cannot order this item so this is how it's supposed to work right now because we are not accepting any back orders. Second option is allow quantity below zero. This, op this option is basically for an allows you to, when customer can purchase this product even when there's no stock available. So if I select this option, save and continue. Now you can see add to cart. I was able to add the product to the shopping cart. And the other option is allow quantity below zero and notify customer. This option basically allow customers to buy this product even when there's no stock available. In addition to that, they will get a notification saying that basically the back order item will be dispatched when the product is back in stock. When you're looking into this option, you have to make sure the display stock availability option, this option should be enabled in this case. So if I go back here, we don't have any stock available. Okay, and I already have the product in the shopping cart. I'm able to order this product, and I can you can see here I'm able to check out and place the order. And right here okay and I can check my order details here you can see order has been received and if I go back in the sales order now if I look at this option I have received this order and when the order is the item is available in stock I can simply start shipping the product and uh, yeah process the pending order accordingly and now if I go back to the catalog product and search for our product that just received a back order now you can see here stock quantity is a negative minus one. That means as a store owner, you have to fulfill this order when you get the item back into stock. So this is how you can manage back orders in AppCommerce. Now it's time for us to wrap up this tutorial video. Hope this was helpful. This video is brought to you by AppCommerce, open source shopping cart. Thank you.